Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus be with each of you. And with your spirit. Standing before God's word, gathered before the altar, we are mindful of our frailty, our weakness, and our sin. And we ask God for mercy and forgiveness.
brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, and all of them were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was the Christ. Yet God was not pleased with most of them, for they were struck down in the desert. These things happened as an example for us, so that we might not desire evil things as they did. Do not grumble as they did, as some of them did, and suffered death by the destroyer. These things happened to them as an example, and they have been written down as a warning to us, upon whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, whoever thinks he is standing secure should, should take care not to fall. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus then tells the parable of the fig tree. Like many of 
Jesus' parable, it doesn't have a conclusion. Did the fig tree take advantage of the extended chance to produce fruit? Or did it remain fruitless? Maybe we each provide our own end to the parable, depending on how we respond to this truth in our own lives. For the truth Jesus is driving home to each of us is this. The failing of so many of us is not the evil we do, but the good we fail to do. Be careful, Jesus says, as we ponder how we will finish his parable. Just being spared is no sign of God's approval of our lives. Our season of Lent just may be a time for God's gracious patience with us to finally do the right thing, to fulfill the purpose for which we were planted in this world in the first place. If that is true, I don't want to be caught just doing nothing. Let us together make our profession of faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Standing now before the Lord, let us express some of our needs in our prayer of the faithful. That church leader, so we read the end and say, no, preaching wholehearted devotion to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, that they may exercise that authority with kindness and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in prison who will be treated with justice and come to know God's mercy and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our assembly, that our penitents this land may cultivate in us a renewed spiritual growth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Ukraine and other parts of the world that are torn apart by war, that peaceful solutions may be found. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are with mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual healing, that God's grace may touch them and bring them healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the departed may rejoice that they are called into fellowship with Christ, including Nicholas Klopchak and David Fitzgerald. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As a worshiping community, we are united with our family of faith, and together we pray for the following intention. Helen, Sasicia, Peter Vitali, Jennifer Elias, Joel Warner, Bruce Barron, Joanne Luther, Frederick Grover, Paul Schulte. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord God, we place ourselves and our need before you as we make our journey through this Lenten season. In the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our loving and almighty Creator. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings, and grant that we who ask pardon for our sin may take care to forgive our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you give your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of our hearts, that freed from sin, we may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that, etern that endure eternally. And so with angels and saints, we praise you as together we sing. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis and the Pope, our, our bishop, the clergy, religious, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Hope, her husband Joseph, with the Apostles, Saint Germain, Saint Gertrude, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may be callers to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever.
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, in fellowship of faith, we pray as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I do say to us, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. sense any hostility in the question and answer period that followed a PowerPoint presentation by Mr. Wade Richard from the Mission Strategic Planning Team of the Arts Diocese of Detroit. I conclude this session by reminding everyone that forming the family of parishes 
is not the end goal, rather it is the means to allow us to better uh, to allow us to be better about the afterlife, inviting those who are no longer walking with us to come home and to seek out those who have not heard the good news and have them join us. Remember that this Sunday, March 20th, our St. Germain Catholic Grade School is having an open house from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Please come and see our facilities and view student projects. Also, St. Germain Catholic School is celebrating its 10th annual gala on Saturday, April 2nd. There has been a change of venue. It's going to be held at the Barrister Garden. Tickets for the event are $50 a piece. Please go online or call the school to make your ticket reservation. There's also in the bulletin a notice of the annual men's club, men's retreat. Members of the men's club are in attendance. The men's retreat at St. Paul of the Cross Retreat Center on the weekend of Palm Sunday. It's a very refreshing, reflective opportunity for men of our parish to take some time away. So please check the bulletin for details on all of these events and uh, have a good week and a good life. Direct, O oh Lord, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, and in your kindness grant your servants this grace, that, abiding in the love of you and their neighbor, they may fulfill, they may fulfill the whole of your commands. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God, Jesus, we bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.